Okay, being on black, folks. And remember, anybody that does uh, have same interests or just basically cruising the internet, and then the idea that they send, you know, don't anybody get a big head on their shoulders, okay? Because the idea that Bino, very truthful person, and don't burn bridges, okay? So, and then just don't get a big head, ladies and gentlemen. And then here we go, because we are basically looking at a cloud formation, which basically could end up being a asteroid belt, because if we back this up a little bit, and we want to thank everybody at the Canadian and the and people that are really stupid about scientific to make uh, patriotic remarks on the idea that we just want to educate ourselves and so forth and so on. Educating and sharing and political sharing every day, ladies and gentlemen. So now you can see that we are getting a very good view at an asteroid belt, whatever you want to call it, because you see it. And then the idea that we do know that we have whatever comes up and you can see, as I was cursing there with my deal, now you got colors and we know all the constellations. Everybody can go in here that is an astronomer, astrologer, and pretty much dates and times. Everybody has technical ability to go and research, okay? You can lose yourself in anything you want to lose yourself into, okay? And you can make yourself happy with whatever you want to. And people who get her stupid and make remarks, of all kinds of remarks, at anything to do with, I'm going to look at, and basically there's power money and control that could pull crap that would stop certain people from being able to contact me. And basically, everybody makes mistakes, no matter how rich and powerful, no matter how, how poor, stupid, this, that, or that. So, uh, making remarks about everything, and I can say free speech, anything I want to at any point in time. So, anyway, so be intelligent about how you communicate and talk with Beano Black. Okay? So, here we go, because basically, scientifically, we are looking up into the sky, and we love these shots from every camera that I love, anything that we end up getting off the internet, ladies and gentlemen, from any scientists, okay? We love what we see down in Antarctic, no matter what nationality, and I always try to be politically correct and thank everybody, and I'm doing it today by basically playing flat line, and the world is not flat, and it's a very small world, ladies and gentlemen. So, here we go, because we're going to see what we got coming up, and then you can go ahead and research, but what I'm interested in is what we've been seeing at the International Space Station, and you see all the rotation, and, and we see our cross, and this is our constellation, and I think I somewhat know, but I don't want to even get people riled up, because there are some people out there that are pretty wild on, and as you see the different formations that it does just before that sun or object comes up behind, and then the idea, so we end up researching this one, and uh, we basically have our times, our clock, and this is just basically what, you know, just remember, I am not, I cannot be puppeted. So the idea that when people do share, share information, you're basically just being scientific, and you could be the biggest little bump in the log, nobody in the world, or the most something in the world. And so I appreciate everything from everybody. So anyway, so here we go. And then basically, like I say, don't get a big head on your shoulder and just communicate. Okay, and anybody somewhat can. If you see footage, send it to me. Not fake BS footage. You've already seen where Bino Black can bust people on fake bullshit footage. Okay, scientific data sharing and political news and so forth and so on sharing. Okay, and here we go. So we got that asteroid belt, and you can watch it as you start at the very beginning of the tape. You can see that area. You see how it turns and tur turbulates, almost like waves in the ocean. Okay, and then it flattens out. So the idea that we may just have our cloud cover at a lower area, and some what we do because we know that this is cloud cover above Earth there, okay? But it's still at, no matter what, as we have the clouds getting the glimmer from, so that is clouds, you see? And then we get a little bit of higher clouds, and whether it's asteroid belt just above the clouds, and then remember how basically we've always talked about the factual of what I was trying to show you data on hemisphere and I just basically leave it to sphere because you can go in there in every altitude of the planet and our layers and our holes that they're magneticals and basically that's just natural because we get electrical energy from out in space and Earth's electrical energy in the magical of scientific of whatever big bangs or big bang okay so we see natural here clouds and then the area, and you see the stars, and then you can match it up from what sky and everything like that off the camera, and you can see the time, and then you just figure it out for yourself. And we have constantly been sharing with everybody, because people always want to be a smart aleck between somebody who's got a lambskin, 
from a college or this or that. Intelligence is intelligence, whether, and I've had some damn good teachers when I was a kid, okay? I don't need a lambskin, okay? If I want one, I might buy one someday. Some people might be smart and just, you know what, doctorate this, doctorate that. And I don't want to be a doctor, but hey, and when somebody gets a doctorate gi gift, it's just basically, hey, we like your thoughts. And you're not stupid. So people can be stupid, do stupid things. So here we go. And then so we have also triangulation, uh, everything in the sky all the time. So we know at time, and we have known time and time again, so then we go and we'll research to see what star, and then as you got the hal that uh, halo that comes up, because we know we have 3D action from tons of stuff in space, okay, 3D, three stars, triangulation, and then lots of times way more than one. And as you've seen, you can see right there that we end up with a cross of one of the constellations. Now whether it's shining down from way up above, or if it's low in the altitude and basically you're looking at the sky, so basically we should be possibly just looking at, but see how the cloud cover, and then we have reflection onto land here, so then we get separation, we know exactly what we're dealing with, okay? So there's the horizon of top of the cloud in our dem different heights and so forth and so on. So as long as you have clear vision, you can see what you know is real. And as you see, we get very fast action between asteroid belts or constellations and universes possibly okay and remember how I said meld and so forth and so on it's just simple terminology ladies and gentlemen and there you go is you got a fast follower back here you see and so you can nail that down on a planet or a fast moving object through space and as you can see we have these star constellations that are sitting and then we have a kaleidoscope of the others melding and we've had famous people and astronomy at NASA and so forth in the past that mentioned that they known that, that we were melding together and they've seen it a long time ago. So, honesty bleeds through all the time. Probably four suns close to Earth. Uh, planet out there with many moons we know it to be Saturn. And then the idea there, who knows what NASA's found. You only leak and find exactly what and the best thing to do is be nice to astronomers and astrologers and then basically they're not going to go to their grave lying to people. There's no deep, dark secret out there in space. It's there. You can see it with your eyes. Okay? And then power, money, and control gets to view the telescopes first. Okay? So it's nice to be nice to everyone. So here we go. As we love the footage that we get over here. And then so you watch these two star systems or... And then so Bino's learning with everybody else too. And see we have this halo effect there also. And as we come up... We get basically star systems moving and brushing against each other and electrical energy out there between planets and so forth and so on. And we'll end up digesting and research and see what we have exactly coming up at those times. And we'll go from there and then we'll know exactly more than likely what star we have coming up. And it's very interesting to see the followers and then the idea that you do know. And it's basically just something knowledge from all astronomers have known, known for years. So certain stay right where they're at and that's the ones we get our directional GPS off of and then we get rotation of the earth and always keeping an eye on that every day to see where the earth is positioned GPS ladies and gentlemen and then you have the followers of all this so there you go with a basic little uh, so let's enjoy we'll even just go back all the way because it plays pretty fast Halo effect there, 3D motion, we know that that comes from, or 4D, or who knows how many, every time you get a point, you have another D. Okay, so now here we go with hologram coming through there. We know that to be one of our four suns, so, and that's the signature on that, and they had the signature on that came up before that. So. And as we know, we see the shadows, I mean, uh, duh. and then when you go back in the darkness, then you see other, and then, so we have stars that stay there, and stuff that's ro rotating around us. So melding, folks, we have melding, we have friction between universe and star clusters. Because you can see 
and then basically we know that those stars that are usually normally the colors that you see without me even putting right so you don't think that I'm trying to brainwash or anything you see the color of stars in constellations that are just solidly sitting there okay you get the red the purples the greens and we know those normally to be at the north or the south pole so through anything of travel through space, which Earth travels more than 66,000 miles an hour right now through space, normally on the average 60,000 miles an hour, we are definitely close to things that we normally don't see for who knows how many years, okay? And possibly maybe this has been the norm all the time, but a lot of people are starting to notice things just, and basically so when we're closer to things and we can see things bleeding through to your eyesight, whether it's up on a 13,000 foot high mountain or down on whatever elevation you live or throughout the world we're living and learning things so we know that there's way more than one sun uh, fact it's not even science it's fact okay and it took science and intelligent people with telescopes and mirrors and modern day technology and everything to basically expose the truth and the truth gets exposed daily 24-7 so, here we go. And there you go into the night. And so you get a nice span of what's going on in space, ladies and gentlemen. So the night skies are very, whether you want to be romantic or just actual factual. Factual, this is factual. So at the footage you just watched, this is basically central in North America where the positionings were. And then so Hawaii would be over here, Pisces would be over there rising. And then four hours later was what you seen started at around midnight and 12 a.m. So you had Venus, and then you can go to whatever software you got and see. And as you see, Jupiter looks smaller because the idea is farther away from Earth at the time. And so that's footage, and then you go research on any software, whiskey, telescope, whatever other stuff that turns you on. And basically, you'll end up seeing what's coming up and then be able to judge and do your research and find out what exactly is probably what you're seeing okay because this was four hours ahead central standard time okay and then you would position yourself on your software of where you're at and you'll see what comes up and uh, sharing educational and political sharing because it seems to be the idea that since a lot of things are very interesting in the sky it's a quite a hot topic besides them stirring up religion in DC comic land so everybody has their input try to lead so constitutional rights do not tread on anybody very interesting huh people and very interesting monkeys who throw shit at each other so communication ladies and gentlemen the world every day 24 7 seems to be problems out there so all minds in the world understand and no Bino knows electrical energy. Look at your efficient lights, folks. And basically, more than likely, whether they're inefficient or not, but most modern-day lights, metal highlights, street lights, whatever, and I know that they're not throwing, and no, this is not space objects, ladies and gentlemen. This is lights at a station, but look at how the light is bleeding up to the atmosphere, okay? And we do know that there are thinner atmospheres at the North and South Pole, and yes, this is Mawson Station down in... And there, as you see, even in a regular shot, these are all designed to put light out very efficiently and low and usually have reflectors up high. And as you can see, light is bleeding up north. So any electrician has the same heads up as I do as they are educating themselves on electrical energy through space. And anybody that knows certain products in an industrial electrical understands a lot what I'm talking about also. And then electric. So we get what we get as it comes through here. Here's some holograms that will freak you the hell out. Watch this. And yes, this is all this that we've seen over here, and it's been going by for a whole year or more down there. And that's the supergiants and all its signature all the way through here. See, there's all this alignment all the way to that. <coughs> Either that or another asteroid belt or another galaxy. Either that or supergiants all in alignment there. You see all that hologram? So more in a little bit. And there's a sun or a star, and there is a hologram. Exienta tridens, and is this only a sailor's secret, or is this just the, through space? I.e., another position. 
Other position? Froze pointer. 